In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Saturday, 13th of June, the Feast of St. Antony of Padua. Promise, God promise, I swear. Today's theme is Jesus is asking us, requesting us, do not use oaths, promises, and swearings unnecessarily to fool others, to inflate your ego. As children, we have heard, I swear. I promise. Was I one among them? As a child, I don't remember, but might have sworn, might have made useless promises because I was in the MGM mischief group minor. So sometimes I might have done it. But we need to avoid all such oaths, swearing, and empty promises. So let us sing together. Touch our eyes and make them truthful. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Touch our words and make them simple. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Touch our hearts and make them humble. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, you give St. Anthony of Padua to us, your people. You gave him to us as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in our needs. Grant that with his assistance we follow the teachings of Christian life and may we experience his unfailing help in our every trial through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God forever 
and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. Elijah departed from the mount and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he was with the twelfth. Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him, and he left the oxen, and he ran, to, ran after Elijah, and he said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned from following him, and took the yoke of oxen, and slew them, and boiled their flesh with the yokes of the oxen, and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. Preserve me, O God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, You are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you, yourself, who are my prize. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. O Lord, o Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved no decay. O Lord, o Lord it is you who are my portion and cup. Can they stand for the gospel? Alleluia, alleluia. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed these things to children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Again you have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sown. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is the footstool of God, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let all what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this shows that there is something wrong. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, dear friends and dear children, catechism children, altar service, and all the children who are taking part in this Saturday Mass on the feast of Saint Anthony of Padua. I promise I swear, under an oath I tell you, is there a difference in these three kinds of making a guarantee? Yes, there is. 
some subtle distinction. But that is not the point today. Jesus is telling us to avoid all unnecessary swearing or oath or promises. It is interesting to note in Matthew's three chapters, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, this is the teaching of the church of Jesus Christ. Behavioral attitude. What Jesus tells us is much more than HRD or HRM courses. He began on June 8th with the inaugural, solemn, very famous preaching on the mountain, the Beatitudes. And today we are coming to this topic, oaths. Verse 37 of this chapter of Matthew. Just say a simple yes, I will. Or a simple no, I will not. More than this shows there is something wrong in you. Some of us lawyers, ministers, teachers or preachers are expert in this tomfoolery. And what happens? Listen to this small humorous anecdote. The little girl Chinna was fussy, fastidious about eating. And her mom had to go around the TV, around the dining table, asking her, take one mouthful, Chinna, and I will take you to the mall. There there is a nice section of dolls and toys. Again, one more mouthful. Please, I will take you to KFC. Not Kids for Christ, but Kentucky Fried Chicken. And she would somehow succeed to feed the, feed the child. And that evening, Bablu, her younger brother, was crying. What happened? Mommy, Chinna pinched me. Chinna? No, Mom. I never, I did not pinch at all. The maid comes there and says, Madam, I saw Chinna pinching Bablu. She is telling a lie. Chinna, you told a lie? She is there, frightened. And if you tell lies hereafter, look, one devil will come and put fire in your mouth. Another devil will come and pierce your tongue with his spear. Will you tell lies anymore? No, mummy. I will not tell lies anymore. You are telling better lies. In your promises, not kept, and now with this fooling me with the false devils. My dear sisters and brothers, we see we should avoid all swearing and the consequences are like this, which is a disgrace, which is a kind of littleness in front of our own people. And swearing or oath can have deleterious consequences. A little boy thought he felt he had swallowed a big 10 rupee coin and he was crying, he was anxious, he was nervous. He was taken to the hospital, all the tests were done, all the scanning and there was no 10 rupee coin at all. But he insisted it is there. Who is his dad? He thought I could do some expressive way of fooling him. I'm a psychologist, he said. And he held a 10 rupee coin in his palm and near his ear, he touched his ear and he said, hocus pocus, hocus pocus, gulu 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 gulu. My dear boy, now wait. Second time when I do this magic mantra, the coin will come out. Hocus pocus, hocus pocus, Gulu, 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 gulu. Look, he said, 
and showed the ten rupee coin. Daddy, really? I swear, I took it from your ear. He flicked the coin from his palm, swallowed it, and he said, Daddy, do it again. Verse 37. Let your talk be simple. Yes, I will. No, I will not. More than that shows something is wrong with you. Amen. Sisters and brothers, pray dear catechism children, altar servers and all the children who are taking part in this Mass that our sacrifice, your sacrifice and our sacrifice may be pleasing to God, our loving Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His Holy Church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise. In memory of your saint, Saint Antony of Padua, protect us from all evils through their intercession. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father all-powerful and ever-loving God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks Through Jesus Christ our Lord Through Jesus Christ Through Jesus Christ our Lord On this day of Saint Anthony of Padua You bid your church to rejoice We, you, we strengthen ourselves by his example and his holy life, you teach us by the words of his preaching, and you keep us safe in answer to his prayers. So we join all the angels and saints and praise you forever. Let oh. all that is within me Cry holy, let all that is within me cry holy, 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 holy is the Lamb that was slain. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Who
When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise. Give it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, it which will be shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Let all that is within me cry, Jesus. Let all that is within me cry, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the Lamb that was slain. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world make us all grow in charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the priests, religious, and people everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, Saint Joseph, her husband, Saint Anthony of Padua, whose feast we celebrate today, with all the Blessed Apostles and the Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 The rich man was swearing there is no Jesus in the blessed sacrament or in the consecrated host. And St. Anthony of Padua, without swearing, brought the donkey which was starving and hungry and it adored the blessed sacrament and did not eat the straw. May God give us this faith and inner strength. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, save us from every evil, from every danger. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, your dear apostles, I give you peace. My own peace I leave unto you. Do not look on our weakness, O Lord, our sins. But look on the faith of your church, our faith of the mind and heart, and give us all a healing. You live and reign in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's give each other a sign of peace. Lamb of Lamb God, of God you, take you take away the sin of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Into my heart, Jesus, O oh, come, O oh, come, come in today to stay. We thirst, come, Jesus, come. We wait, come, Jesus, come. Jesus, come, O oh, Jesus, come. Jesus, come, O oh, Jesus, come. Happy are we called to his supper. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. May the marvelous prayers of St. Anthony of Padua accompany us who have eaten this heavenly food. May this saint intercede for us in all our needs and necessities. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the protection and intercession of St. Anthony of Padua. Thanks be to God.